Threes with a two wing are called the charmer. Twos are called the helper because they are driven by a deep need to be needed. And a lot of type two characteristics actually fuel the three's natural strengths. So charmers are even more energetic, sociable, and wired for relationships. Charmers are the cliche, pretty popular girl or guy in school. Think of the cheerleader and the quarterback. They love to be at the center of attention and are masters at cultivating relationships with people they deem worthy of their social circle. Because threes are naturally competitive and twos are naturally prideful, charmers can get caught up in needing to be the best in their community. They want their spouse to be a catch. They want their kids to be at the top of the class and they want their home to be the best on the block. All of this is fueled by a desire to be desired. Because twos are lovers at heart, Threes with a two wing are a bit more geared towards relational prominence than career prominence. That makes them super seductive. So beware if you've caught their eye because they wanna be with who they wanna be with and they'll tend to get them. Charmers will use their warmth positivity and encouragement to get you to fall for them. They also just tend to be physically attractive people as well, and they put a great deal of effort into staying that way even as they age. Because of this superficiality, charmers are a bit more defensive and emotionally fragile than other threes. In the more unhealthy range, they can become desperate for any attention, even negative attention. And so they'll spark drama or lash out angrily just so that you have to deal with them. They can embody some pretty shameless narcissism when they feel rejected or like they're not getting what they feel entitled to in life. However, healthy charmers are generous, enthusiastic people that actually get mistyped as sevens because they're just so much fun to be around. All right, now let's talk about threes with a four wing. Threes with a four wing are called the professional. Professionals are a fascinating subtype because threes and fours at their core are really different people. Type four individualists are driven by a deep desire to be seen as a unique or special individual and are plagued by envy because they inherently believe that everyone else has something that they don't have. And that actually feeds the type threes natural competitiveness but it makes them shift their attention to some special area of life to succeed in rather than just going after what everybody else already has. Sometimes this can make threes with a four wing actually look like type five investigators because they'll go after some specialized role, be it an artistic or technical field. The four wing also makes professionals a bit more emotionally vulnerable than charmers because the two wing makes charmers try to squash any negative emotions that may make them look less desirable. While the four wing allows threes to become more self-aware and willing to dive into hard truths about themselves. Sometimes though, the four wing adds a bit too much emphasis on self-doubt and negativity, which can make professionals swing from total ego inflation to crippling self-doubt all in the span of one afternoon. It is important to note, however, that doctors Rizzo and Hudson from the Enneagram Institute agree that threes with a four wing are not typically manic depressive, although they often get diagnosed as such. Rizzo and Hudson state that manic depressiveness stems from anxiety, whereas the three wing fours issue stems from a narcissistic desire to meet grandiose expectations that no one could possibly live up to. Anyway, I'm not a doctor, so I just defer to their expertise on that particular subject. But what I can say, since I'm married to a three wing four, is that they are very capable of navigating a wide array of emotions in a very short period of time that makes it difficult for, let's say, rigid type ones to keep up with. Overall though, professionals are hardworking, creative leaders that can just as easily inspire you with a spreadsheet as they can with a poem. <laughs>